What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I have a very exciting action figure review to do. Today we're doing the Jedi Knight Revan EB Games exclusive uh, figure. So uh, yeah, I just recently picked this up. I put a pre-order down. I have a funny story about the pre-order. So uh, let's get into the video and uh, take a look at the box. So the box looks great. Like I'm really into this box. I wanted to pose, uh, keep this sealed because you know of all my, uh, if you want to read that, pause it now. Because of all my white boxes and like I have the Deluxe 2 uh, Heavy Mandalorian it's sealed right now. So it looked really good all together. But um, I don't know. I just decided to open it because I really wanted to open it. It's a really unique figure. Uh, although they've already made a Darth Revan. I did see that once. I never picked it up. But anyways, what happened with my pre-order was I pre-ordered the Jedi Knight Revan and the Heavy Battle Droid months ago. Like, like I don't, I can't even tell you when. And so basically, we didn't get a heavy battle droid in my pre-order because uh, they were short ship, but yet somehow people were getting multiple because they were getting released early in Ontario. Um, and so, yeah, that's really unfortunate. I'm not too happy about that. But then I found out that there was, you know, like a week before it came out, a uh, Stormtrooper commander that nobody really knew anything about that some other people could pre-order. So only a few people got that pre-ordered and they're all on back stock. No idea where they are. Some people got twos, three, and it should only be limited to one customer. I'm not saying anybody did anything wrong. They probably got, like, just stock before the pre-order even came out. So, you know, if it was me, I would do the exact same thing. Um, you know, that's fair, all fair play. Just annoying that, you know, really, I feel like this gaming greats set was really messed up, especially where I'm from, and, like, not everybody got everything. They were. And I looked for these figures early just so I could pick them up. But uh, no such luck. But, yeah, so the box looks fantastic. Like, I love the purple glow it has to it. It's a very unique Black Series box. Uh, gaming greats on the side and on the back. I really hope that they continue this. It's like the uh, Legends Gamerverse. But anyways, let's crack this thing open and we will get right to the action figure review. Okay, so before we actually get into the action figure, let's take a look at the accessory. Um, this came with the Darth Revan figure. It's, I think, just a little painted, a little darker. But yeah, it looks fantastic, especially for a lightsaber hilt. Really detailed, really captures a, his lightsaber's aesthetic. Plus this dark purple, and I love purple blades, so this is really cool. Um, and it did come with the Darth Revan as well. Uh, the reason I didn't pick up Darth Revan, I don't really remember. I just remember seeing him in 2016 and, like, being like, eh. And then passing up, which was just a big, dumb mistake. But anyways, hopefully I'll get him soon so I can have both. But yeah, this lightsaber, it looks fantastic. This was definitely my preferred out of all three of the gaming grades figures. The Revan looks fantastic out of the box. It's a very unique-looking action figure. Um, I know that for those who have the Darth Revan, it's extremely similar, pretty much just a paint over and some new sculpts maybe on the body armor. But yeah, it's really interesting. So you have this hooded piece, which is completely white. Uh, white. Actually, looking from the back gives me Assassin's Creed vibes. But um, And it goes down to his shoulders, so it kind of covers uh, his neck area. So there's really, really hard to get any articulation in. Uh, but his helmet looks great. So his helmet is a old-style Mandalorian helmet. Um, and again, very, like... I feel like they were really they really did a great job with the painting on these action figures. Like I don't see anything visible, like barely even any paint scuffs. I don't like the crease on the top of his head, but like I can also get over it. Um but yeah, it looks very good. It's a completely separate piece, the um uh hood from the rest of the figure, but yeah, I think that looks really cool. we I believe the Darth Revan got a cape, but we don't get a cape on this figure. But um yeah, so that now you can see the golden armored plating or i wouldn't even call it gold it's almost like a brown but it looks really good it looks very like rev yeah i but it looks really good for a revan jedi um i don't know i believe this was in the galaxy of heroes game i don't know if this was in what revan at any point looked like in Re old republic but it looks really cool and so yeah you get like very consistent colors so it looks really like neat together it really looks put together too the whole ensemble you get this uh I don't know what these are called, but you get this on them. And so it's connected from the belt here. Um, but at the back, it's not connected at all. Uh, you have this kind of soft goods cape or cape skirt, which is nice. It covers his feet. It can be a little intrusive on the articulation. But yeah, really interesting action figure. I really like it so far. Um, you kind of got the uh, wrinkle effect in the clothing to make it look natural, which is all, which is good to see. And um, if you roll up his legs, I believe there's some... Yes, so... Um, same kind of white color, very, uh, not even, not like eggshell white, but it is white. And then you have these brown knee pads. They almost look like wood knee, knee pads. They're not wood, but like a 
mahogany or something weird like that. But yeah, it looks really good. Then you have the buckles. It looks really put together, this action figure. I really like the aesthetic. I think it's going to look awesome, even though we don't have any Old Republic, uh, more Old Republic Black Series. I think it'd be cool if we got some more Old Republic, like Darth Malgus and stuff. Um, just old style characters in the six inch scale. Uh, because I think there might, I think that those figures would do really well. Even if you don't know the character, I think everyone can, can enjoy a new Sith action figure. So, yeah, and some Jedi too. So yeah, I really do like this action figure. I love the aesthetic. Now let's get into the articulation. The Revan's articulation is as follows. So, his head can bend down about that much. It's all hindered by the hood. It can bend up a little bit too. You can move the, um, head to the left and a bit to the right. Uh, and yeah, it can tilt down a bit, but again, it's most of this is uh, hindered by the hood piece. It can his arms can move up that much again, hindered by the hood piece. Um, single jointed elbows. Uh, this hand can crunch in like that, and this hand is your like lightsaber fighting hand, so it can do that articulation. Uh, the chest has a three uh, three sixty swivel, I believe. Um, it can crunch a little bit forwards, but not too much, and a bit back. But you can crunch with the leg, so it still looks pretty good because you can't really see with the cape. Uh, but yeah, it has a bit of a t pivot, too. Um, so the cape does get in the way a little bit, and the belt. Like, they're a little dynamic duo together. But, like, the cape, or sorry, the skirt is really flexible, so you can get the articulation poses that you want. The, the legs are double-jointed. The knees are double-jointed. Straighten back out. There's, an there's amazing ankle pivot. Feet can move back. And forward. And yeah, great ankle pivot. And uh, there should, there's a hip swivel. And yeah, there is 360 rotating, rotating legs, so that's great to see. But yeah, overall, I think that the articulation is really good for this action figure. Um, and it looks really good too, so that's awesome. It doesn't, it's not extremely visible articulation, which is totally all right with me. And yeah, the articulation is not super articulate, but you can really get it in the poses you want. Jedi Knight Revan stands at about 6 inches, which is standard for a Star Wars The Black Series figure. Here's Revan. Next to another EB Games exclusive, we have the Clone Commander Fox figure. Here's Jedi Knight Revan. Next to another redeemed Sith, we have Anakin Skywalker from the Archive Black Series wave. Here's Jedi Knight Revan. Next to a Mandalorian. They would not have been fond of each other had they been born in the same generation. Here is Revan next to Kylo Ren. The reason I compare these two is because when I saw the Force Awakens trailer for the first time, or whenever I saw Kylo Ren for the first time, I don't know why, probably because of the their very hooded, you know, helmet, I made the connection of Darth Revan and Kylo Ren, and I just can't unsee that. So anyways, here's that quick comparison that nobody asked for. That is going to have to cut it for the video, guys. In the end, I love this action figure. Uh, it's a really ideal Star Wars The Black Series figure for me, and I think it was a really well-done Revan. So I'm excited to get the Darth Revan whenever I do end up getting it. But yeah, great figure. Definitely, if you get a chance, go pick it up. Um, it's a really, really cool action figure, and it is a GameStop exclusive in the States and EV Games exclusive in Canada. Can't say for anywhere else because I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, awesome action figure. I really liked it. Thank you so much for watching. If you did, I really appreciate the support. Uh, like, comment if you have anything to say, and subscribe if you want to see any more of my videos. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.